we got our PC built right here with our CPU installed and we are using the Master Liquid PL360 Flux to cool our Intel 12400. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Intel Core i5-12400 desktop processor. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, everything looks great. We got the Intel Core i5 branding all throughout. We can actually see the CPU in the top of the packaging and we have some additional information on the side for us. So, so this features six cores, 12 threads, up to 4.4 gigahertz, 18 megabytes of cache, and it's the LGA 1700 socket. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our user guide and manual with the spot where they were supposed to place the label. We did not get a label, but maybe that's the case for the 12400, I'm not sure. You can see inside they walk us through how to install the cooler, step by step, as well as the CPU showing you full installation, as well as removal too. If you ever wanna swap it out, maybe you're upgrading coolers later on down the road, they have you covered there with removal. So you can see the user guide. Next, we have the cooler itself, Intel logo and branding on it. You can see our single fan design. We have these plastic fins that go all around, and then we have a cool blue ring on the inside. Looks nice. It's got a decent weight to it as well. So obviously we have the plastic fins on the outside, but we have metal on the inside for our heat spreader. And you can see the pre-applied thermal paste for us right there out of the box. So be careful not to touch that until it's time for you to actually do your build. Then you can see our cable and you can get a feel for the mount option right there. Look at it from the side, backside again. So cool stock cooler. And then lastly, we have the CPU itself. So check it out, you can see the Intel 12400 CPU. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. So you can see we got our PC built right here with our CPU installed and we are using the Master Liquid PL360 Flux to cool our Intel 12400. Don't forget you could use the stock cooler if you want. Now let's go ahead, let's benchmark the CPU. So first up, you can see we got CPU Z right here walking us through everything we need to know about our CPU. So check that out. That's the first tab right here. Next up, you can see we have our motherboard and all the relevant information for our MSI board. It's the NPG Z690 carbon Wi-Fi board. Next up, we have 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM. You can see that in the frequency right here. Then we have our SPD settings followed by our graphics and you can see we have integrated and we have our rtx 3070 ti and then next you can see our bench results right here so our single core score 642 and our multi-thread score so 4858 right there and you can see how that compares to your cpu as well as other cpus online now let's go ahead, let's look at some actual benchmarking results from Cinebench and Geekbench. So you can see our Cinebench results right here. We got a multi-core score of 1081 and a single core score of 1614. With the single score ranking, you can see we're up at the top right here competing with some Intel i7 chips from previous generations. You can see how it ranks to some other equivalent and not so equivalent CPUs. And then we can look at our multi-core score. Again, we finished towards the top of the pack at number four, under Threadrippers and Xeon processors, as you would expect. Now you can see our Geekbench 5 results right here. We got a single core score of 1592 and a multi-core score of 9191. We have our system information, nice summary, just like what we were seeing through CPU Z. You can see a breakdown of the single core score right here. So check that out. We'll rotate down so you can see the bottom one. And then next up, we have our multi-core score as well. You can see all the subcategories and rankings. And there's the rest of them right there. Now you might be wondering, well, how does this actually compare to my CPU? Well, we have a running list of processor benchmarks right here. So we have single core score. So check it out. We got 1592. So we got to scroll down some. Not too far down though. Look at this. So we're really towards the top. Again, 1592, we fall right in between an i9 and an i7 11 
700, which is super impressive with the single core speeds that were basically on par with the 11700 from the previous generation. And now we can sort it by multi-core score. Again, we got 9191. So let's go down. We'll see where we fall in this category in ranking. So it looks like we're between an AMD and an Intel Xeon CPU. We're below, if you're wondering, a crowd and fan favorite, the i9-10 850K, a little bit below that for multi-core. But you can see some of the other CPUs. So we are above the 11700 again at 9773. So basically, performance-wise, the Intel 12400 is on par per some of these benchmarks, really close to the previous generation's 11700 CPU. So overall, the value and sentiment's definitely there for the Intel 12400. This might be the best value and deal out of all the 12th gen CPUs. It's really impressive that we're basically getting the 11700 performance out of this CPU. Don't forget, it does come with a nice cooler if you want to use the stock cooler that is also provided, continuing to add you even more value and benefit. Obviously, if you need more cores or you're running more demanding applications or you've tried this out and you still want even better results with gaming, editing, that sort of thing, don't forget to look at the 12700 or the 12900 if your budget affords. But I'd say for most people, gaming, streaming, content creating, you will enjoy and appreciate having a really high-end CPU that doesn't break the bank and allows you room to upgrade maybe your GPU or some additional parts and components that you want while not compromising on any of the performance.